Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about the Three Jokers issue one. And yeah, so let's jump right into it. I'm really excited to talk about this. Um, I've been intrigued by what this story would entail since I had initially heard about the idea of there actually being three Jokers um, when like the, that whole reveal took place to Batman. And uh, yeah, this is a story that I've wanted to read for a long time. So yeah, let's discuss exactly what my thoughts are on part one. And yeah, I'm also going to be talking about part two and three um, in later videos as well. So to start off with, this is just a little bit of a, I don't know if it's a nitpick, but I mean, I guess it's a nitpick. It doesn't actually have anything to do with the overall story, but it's the first page right what we see is batman in the batmobile driving uh through his like parents grave right by wayne manor and just parking his batmobile right there in front of his house and my question for that is wouldn't anyone you know notice that the Bat batmobile is there and i mean a potential reasoning for that is maybe no one is anywhere near wayne manor because it's just such a large property but i just feel like that's a weird thing place to park the Batmobile like wouldn't you just park it inside the Batcave regardless that was just something that came into my mind while I was reading the story to actually jump into it the thing that pulled me into the story right at the start was everything with all the scars that Batman has from his years of working as Batman this is something that I've never really thought of and I I don't know there are just a lot of different interpretations of like iterations of what Batman looks like and things like that. And I've never really, as far as I know, seen a version where like you see all of his scars all across his body. Um, but also like, I don't know, you don't really ever see Batman like outside of his cowl or in a suit, right? Um, it's usually he's wearing like his outfit or whatever. Because of that, it, it just wasn't something that I had ever really thought about. But, you know... I, he's literally covered head to toe in scars and that also begs the question of how does no one ever like notice this that he's just covered in scars but i mean i don't know regardless like i thought that that was a super cool scene and then also having like three of the flashbacks of where like different scars came from being from the three separate jokers that we're going to see later in the story and then from there we shift over to seeing similar experiences with Barbara Gordon as well as um, with Jason Todd later on as well. So I thought these two were also really really cool because you get to see like flashbacks to two like really huge stories from the Batman mythos right. Um, one was obviously the death of Jason Todd when fans voted for him to die like years and years ago so i don't actually know what year that was or, or how long ago that was but this was when dick grayson who was the first robin ended up going and becoming part of the teen titans so fans really didn't resonate with jason's character at that point and he ended up being killed by the joker similarly the joker later murdered barbara gordon or not murdered barbara gordon he shot her and paralyzed barbara gordon and uh, that was also, I think that's the killing joke is when that happened. So it was very cool to start off the story with just seeing a bit of the impact that the Joker has had on not just Batman, but also two of the, two of his like, I guess sidekicks. Um, although I wouldn't really consider them sidekicks at that point. They're really not anymore. Um, yeah, so it was a really, really good way to start off the story, showing off all of the scars of each of these individuals, both mentally and physically. From there, um, I, I'm not super, I, I wasn't super compelled by the rest of the story until I would say the ending. I, I love the ending for this, um, and I would say the beginning and the end are the parts that are most interesting for me. Um, as I mentioned, the whole scar situation, or, or scars situation, and then the ending, which if you haven't actually read the story, you probably don't want to listen to this. Um, this is going to be when Jason Todd takes out one of the Jokers, right? He's been tied up and bound, and he's talking about how, um, what I think is probably the most interesting part of this, and he says that 
like when he's tied up and bound and Batman's gone, he tells Jason Todd, who is the Red Hood, that, you know, you took my moniker from me, the Red Hood, the original moniker that I had. And when I killed you, you began to beg, right? While he was beating him with a crowbar um, so many years ago. And he said that Jason Todd mentioned, and I actually don't know if this was part of the original story, that he would do anything to not be killed. And he said that he would even become Jason Todd's, or uh, Jason Todd would even become the Joker's Robin. And this is followed up by the coolest statement. I actually have it written down, um, or at least part of it. And he says, shooting up people and making Batman's life miserable. That's what he describes what Jason Todd does now. And finally he says, you are my Robin. And he also implies that like the only reason Jason Todd is alive, which I mean, this doesn't actually make any sense, but it's probably like it probably screwed with his head a bit in that moment was, you know, maybe I didn't actually kill you. Maybe I left you in a shallow grave knowing you would come back and do what you've done since then. Um, like that, that to me was just awesome. It was an amazing um, way to think about how the Jokers impacted Jason Todd. And it makes me think that this actually was the version of the Joker that killed Jason Todd, right? We don't actually know which one is which. Um, but we, from, from what we understand at the very beginning, it seems as though the original Joker is the one that's in charge. The one that was caught um, was the one that actually killed Jason Todd. And then the last one, I believe he was the one that was called the Comedian, was the one in the killing joke because he's wearing that shirt that he wore hopefully that's the case i mean i i mean regardless i think that jason todd really did have a point and like in what he did here and yeah i'm very curious to see what comes next in the story so yeah um apart from that i mean there's nothing really that i i i'm waiting to see apart from like maybe the joker's um, reacting to this, but also how Batman's going to react to finding out that Jason Todd murdered the Joker, which honestly, he should have done. Like, Batman is kind of a moron for not doing this at this point, because, like, of all the villains, right, the Joker has killed so, so many people, and it just keeps happening, and it's literally, at some point, it's Batman's fault that he continues along this um, process. So I think that Jason Todd was actually in the right for what he did. Um, he may not have had the right reasons, but ultimately like, it seems as though he did the right thing in my mind. Anyway, I mean, also this is a comic book universe and you know, it's, the morals are, are can be a little bit less, or a little bit more loose there. Regardless, I, I'm very curious to see how Batman is going to react to finding this out. Um, what's going to happen with the other two Jokers? I think each one is centered on a different one, just based off of, like, the, the book that I have. It has each of them on a different, like, spot. Or, uh, like, at the... Let me find my words. Um, each of them are the face of each different issue. So, I'm assuming each one's going to have a separate Joker that is at the forefront of the story for the most part. Um, yeah, if you have liked this video, please tell me in the comments below if you want to see more videos like this. If you're curious about my thoughts on the other two issues, please subscribe and you'll see those videos in the near future as well. Um, apart from that, I'll catch you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed.